Betelgeuse is one of the most luminous stars in the night sky. It is the closest supernova candidate, which is situated 700 light years away from Earth. This red giant star is younger than our Sun, but the star has already reached the final stages of its life. It would take billions of years for our Sun to reach this stage. It is only 8 million years old, making the Sun over 500 times older. High-mass stars such as Betelgeuse burn their fuel extremely quickly, as a result they exist for only a few million years. Stars such as our Sun exist for billions of years. Betelgeuse is easily visible in the night sky, as it is the 10th brightest star in the night sky and is more than 15 times the mass of the Sun. When it will die, it will create a stunning supernova that will be visible on Earth, even in broad daylight. This is because when a massive star runs out of material in its core, the star will collapse under its own gravity and turn into a supernova. Researchers have estimated that this will likely happen to Betelgeuse within the next 100,000 years, which is relatively soon in astronomical terms. This explosion will create a burst capable of briefly outshining an entire galaxy. This would be the first naked eye supernova in our galaxy since 1604. It will become the most witnessed astronomical event in human history. Imagine what it would be like to visit a dying star that is in its final stage of its life. If we use the fastest man-made object which is the Parker Solar Probe, which travels about 400,000 miles per hour, it would still take more than 10 million years to reach Betelgeuse. Even if we travel at the speed of light, it would take 700 years to reach there. So visiting Betelgeuse is impossible. So for now, we would just have to use the ship of our imagination. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. When you reach Betelgeuse, you will find large plume of gas surrounding the star. This is because infrared studies have shown that Betelgeuse is surrounded by immense shells of material evidently shed by the star during the loss of its mass from the past 100,000 years. The largest of these shells has a radius of nearly 7.5 light years. Betelgeuse is losing its mass at the rate of 30 million times higher than the Sun, so it's a good idea to stay far away from the star. Betelgeuse is a red giant star with a low surface temperature. The low temperature means that the star will appear orangish-red in color. The surface of Betelgeuse is relatively colder than the Sun, since its core is no longer capable of sustaining hydrogen fusion. The temperature of its surface is just 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, for comparison, our Sun's surface temperature is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The diameter of Betelgeuse is about 700 million miles, which is about 1,200 times the size of the Sun. It is one of the largest known stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Betelgeuse is so huge that if it was at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt, and it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars and probably Jupiter. Betelgeuse is only 8 million years old, astronomers suspect that it would live for another 100,000 years, after which its core would collapse into a super-dense neutron star. This supernova explosion might appear as bright as the full moon is seen from Earth. The supernova will last for several months and would even be visible during the day, since the star is 700 light years away from Earth. Betelgeuse is quite mysterious, the star undergoes irregular dimming and brightening and has been known to do so for many years. Astronomers know very little about red supergiant stars and their behaviors. Our Sun is thought to become a red giant star in about 5 billion years. Understanding Betelgeuse might also help us understand what the end of our Sun would look like. The light that left from the star in the year 1300 is reaching us now. So maybe Betelgeuse has already exploded several hundred years ago, but the light from the explosion has yet to reach Earth. 